Hmm. I've had this phone for a while. Maybe it's time for a new one. You're finally getting bored of your 10s Max? Oh no, I still love my iPhone. I just think it's time for something new. Well, in that case, it's time to switch back to Samsung. We are a completely new brand. We've got bleeding edge smartphones. What are you talking about? I've been hearing a lot of complaints from your fans lately. Complaints? What complaints? I haven't heard of any. What happened to the 1440p display and the SD card slot you always brag about? Oh, uh, yeah. Th those complaints aren't coming from our loyal fans. Our loyal fans love our decisions. Oh. Okay? Our fans love our phones because we make the best phones. Our fans love 100x Zoom. We have the stylus. And how much do these features cost? About $200 more than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Forget it. Hey, hold on now. We're still cool and innovative. We have worse chips than Qualcomm. We have the world's most overwhelming amount of options. We have freaking displays that are made of plastic and are extremely compromised just so we can fold them. I'm ignoring you. Who doesn't want a foldable display? Foldables are the future. You finished yet? We have the ability to load a desktop UI on a TV so you can use those mostly useless Android apps to do more professional things. Dude, you're just like your notification system. Now shut up. We're so great. We're even better than the iPhone 14. Look, see? Are you for real? Apple's ruining the iPhone. Apple's ruining the iPhone. Shut up. Let's just talk about it. Ho ho ho! Let's uh, let's go to backup here. Good morning, Craig. Oh, good morning, Tim. What brings you down here? Well, as you know, WWDC is coming up in a couple of weeks, and I just want to get a rough idea of what it is we'll actually be presenting to our developers. Well, as you know, we've got some exciting announcements for iOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS. We got all sorts of cool things coming for it. Wow. That's so awesome to hear. Oh, and don't forget to advertise our TV Plus trailers as well. Now, what about iPadOS? What do you mean, what about iPadOS? Well, our sales have been slumping for iPad Pros, and we finally figured out exactly what the problem is. All of the reviewers on YouTube and other media sites have not been complaining about the iPad hardware. They love the hardware of the iPad Pro, but the problem is it's so good that iPad OS isn't taking advantage of it. And we want to be so proud of the software that we put on all of our devices. Hmm, he's got a point. Let's begin. Oh, oh, can we please get USB-C on the iPhone? No. Nope. Can we please get USB C on the iPhone? No. Nope. Oh, oh, can we please get USB C on the iPhone? No. Nope. Oh, oh, can we please get USB C on the iPhone? No. Nope. Can you USB C on the iPhone? No. Nope. Oh, oh, can we please get USB C on the iPhone? No. Nope. Please get USB-C on the iPhone? Fine, let's begin. Uh, hi, uh, Tim, you got a moment? Oh, sure thing, Jerry. How's everything in the media department? Uh, not exactly the greatest, I have to say. You know that latest Mac that we released recently? The M2 MacBook Pro? Yeah, that one. Uh, it appears that the media isn't really liking the product, and they're actually, well, giving us so much negative press about it. I don't understand. How are people not liking this? We ship the best 
products. And as Steve Jobs put it, we don't ship junk. So why are they hating on it? We make the best products. Why is the media not happy with this product, Jerry? Well, half of them are complaining about the slower 256 gig base model that we've released. Okay, well, Jerry, you know that prices have increased so much on NAND flash. It's just not feasible for us to continue doing what we were doing before. We had to simplify production somehow. But even setting that aside, everyone just says that it's just a terrible value. What? I don't understand. How are they saying this is a terrible value? It's a 13-inch laptop for professional users at a $1,300 price point. It allows more pro features and pro technologies to more affordable masses compared to the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. Why is everyone saying this MacBook Pro is a terrible value? Well, let's begin! Hello! Oh, hi there! I've been using this phone for a little bit and I've decided, you know what, it's been a few years, I might as well get an upgrade. Sure thing, I can help you with that. Would you like another Samsung? Another Samsung flagship preferably, um, cause I need, well, I, I like the flagships and such and Samsung still supports the SD card slot, right? Um, I really hate to tell you this, but, uh, no, they don't. Wait, are you serious? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. When did they get rid of that? It started with the Note 10, then they unfortunately carried it to other phones, like unfortunately the S20 series and such. Wow, that's sad. So does this mean Samsung's not differentiating itself anymore? It appears that way, sir. I'm sorry about that. Okay, well, can I, is there any other brand that will actually differentiate itself from the iPhone? Well, we do have a OnePlus here. Really? A lot of reviewers say this differentiates itself from the fact that it's a flagship killer. How so? You know, it's got all the different flagship features and it's at a relatively affordable price. It even includes the SD card slot. I mean, it's not a Samsung, but it's at least different from the iPhone. It sure is. Would you like to upgrade to this OnePlus here? Okay, sure, why not? Here. Oh wow, this thing's so cool! I know, right? And it's so speedy! No joke! Oh, this thing's so much better than the iPhone! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! You're welcome, Mr. Android fan! Have a good day! Do the same! Hello, it's been a few years. I think I'm ready for an upgrade now. This OnePlus was amazing, just like you said. I'm glad you enjoyed it, sir. All right, can I get another OnePlus? Yeah, about that. Remember how you said you're into flagships? Unfortunately, OnePlus isn't really selling us that type of stuff anymore. Huh? You, you complain that you don't like phones that try to copy the iPhone. What happened this time? Um, yeah, OnePlus is starting to do basically that. They're becoming another iPhone copycat. Are you serious? First Samsung and now OnePlus? Why? <sighs> Is there any phone that's not trying to be like the iPhone? Uh, there's... Uh, no, not that brand. Uh, what? Oh, uh, no, not that one. Uh, come on. <gasps> no. Um... I don't know what to tell you, sir. Fine. I'll just take an iPhone then. Let's begin! Alright, time to get to work. Um... Of course it's time to get to work. You've been holding off on this review for way too long. Who are you? I am your conscience. I thought my conscience would be in here. I am a visible figure of your conscience right now. Really? That's just how this skit is supposed to go, Alpha. Okay. It's time you actually filmed that iPhone 13 Pro Max review. You've had it for a few weeks at this point. You have your impressions. But for some reason, and I can just tell, something is holding you back from making this review. Yeah, that is true. I know it is hard switching from that iPhone Tennis Max, but is it too hard for the two of us? Is it too hard to leave behind the memories of the past with that iPhone and switch to a better phone with a better camera, a battery life that we haven't even figured out how to drain yet? Yeah, that is true. And a much better display with that also godly smooth ProMotion. Is that iPhone Tennis Max really holding you back? Well, how about you keep watching to find out? Tim! 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 We have a dire emergency! 
Good morning, Bill. What could possibly be wrong? Yeah, so, um, inflation has kind of been hitting us. You know, that, like, prices of everything have basically gone up. Yes, of course. We've been really trying to do everything we can to make sure our profit margins are still reasonably high. Yeah, um, our profit margins are starting to slip right now. What? This is bad. Oh, this is very, very bad, Phil. How much profits have we already lost? About 2%. No, 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 Bill. This simply cannot do. We cannot afford to lose this much money. We have employees to pay. We have bills to pay. Tim, we have to figure out how to get our profit margins back up. We can't afford to lose this much. I don't suppose you'd have any suggestions, Bill, because I am just trying to figure out what prices we should finalize the 14 lineup to have this year. Wait, you still haven't decided on pricing for the iPhone 14 yet? Deciding on that has been an absolute pain, Bill. We've been trying to figure out what we should charge the regular lineup at. So far, I've been thinking because many people have already despised the fact that inflation is hitting hard. We probably could keep the prices still at $700 and $800. No, 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 Tim, we can't do that. We can't do that. You see, the trick is because we are losing all this money, we'll basically pull more from our customers. You see, we've got enough fans that everyone will pay more for phones anyways. Then we've got the, these new headlining features with crash detection and satellite connection. Activity, life saving features. These are features that people will totally want to pay extra for. We can afford to charge extra and they won't mind paying extra for these things. Oh my god, Bill, that's absolutely genius! So, what prices were you thinking? How about we start the 6.1 inch iPhone 14 at $800? Well, with the carrier lock and such. And if they really want that unlocked, then we got to charge them an extra $30 for it. That sounds great. What about the 14 Plus, though? I was thinking with the 14 Plus, $900? I mean, also, just think of how seamless this lineup is. 14 is 800, 14 Plus is 900, 14 Pro is 1000, and 14 Pro Max is $1100. Doesn't that sound perfect? Oh, it's absolutely genius, Bill. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is so perfect, we can absolutely do this. I know it is, right? Bill, for this idea, I am honored next year to give you a raise of an extra two cents per year you work here. Oh yes! Thank you, Tim! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Let's begin!